Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs and today I'm going to show you how to use QR codes in your files here for your laser designs. Um, as you can see, this is a new design that I created. Um, I call it the Scan Me Stand. Uh, basically, this lets you scan a QR code with your phone and it will bring you straight to a website of your choice that you make with it. Um, and this is the business card edition, so there's business cards that can hold down here as well. So, um, for example, if you're using my file, uh, you can actually just select this uh, QR code and hit delete, and I'll show you how to add your own. But you can do this with your own files as well. Um, so now that we got rid of that, we're going to create a new um, QR code that you can put in here. So what I like to use is I like to use this website called QR Code Monkey. It's 100% free. Um, I, I use it. It works great. Um, all you need to do is change this part of the website here. You're going to have to leave this front um, HTTPS and then the www's on there. I'm going to go ahead and just type in my uh, YouTube channel for this example here. Uh, right there it is. And then once you have it typed in to get rid of this one over here, all you got to do is hit enter on your keyboard. Once you have enter hit, it's going to select the default one. Um, I always leave it on default, which, which should be single color, black and white here. Um, and then I don't add like a logo image in the center because those tend to mess up with like laser designs. You want to leave this as basic black and white as possible here so you can get a very good consistent result. If you try and add a logo, it may not work and you may waste a piece of material. If you have a piece of material that has like dark spots in it, that could potentially mess up the QR code reading it. Um, so you may waste a piece of material in that aspect too. So just keep uh, keep that in mind. So uh, last step here, I, I always change this to high quality because I might as well. Um, and then originally what I did is I downloaded the PNG because I thought that's what you needed to do for having it free and then convert it into SVG. But you can actually use the SVG right here, right off the bat for free. So just click on SVG. Um, and then they'll ask if you want to sign up for something. Uh, this is just an ad. Just wait this out. It takes a little bit. Looks like it's not going to work, but it will. As you can see, it did work. It's showing up over here. You can click the little uh, up arrow and click show in folder. Right here is the new one that I generated. I have done this a few times for the other codes. Um, you'll right click that, choose open with, and then your program. In this case, it's going to be Illustrator. As you can see, it is really large because it is a, the highest quality image here. So we're going to shrink that down in just a second. But what you're going to do is going to click hold and drag it over to your other file and then drop it. And as you can see, it is very large. So you're going to click and hold on the top corner node here and hold shift while you scale it so it can keep the correct dimensions here. And then uh, you can just keep scaling it up or down depending on what size you need it for your file. Um, that looks pretty good. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. There we go. That looks pretty good there. So that's pretty much it. That is how you create um, a QR code for your design. So you can actually highlight all of this and then center it up. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, so you can print this off. Like I said, you want to make sure your material is nice and clean. No, like, dark spots there. Um, I wouldn't add a logo uh, to it just because those tend to have, like, uh, coloration variants in it. But other than that, uh, that is how you add a QR code to your file. So you can resave the file, print this off. Uh, your customers can scan this, go right to your website automatically. And that's pretty much it. We'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you learned something here now, and we'll see you then.